let me preface this by saying that when I watched NXT, it was definitely better than most really bad Nitros. I, it, we're not in Nitro territory yet. We're not in WCW territory yet. But there were two things on that show that literally were straight out. I mean, literally. Sometimes people say the word literally, but, you know, that's just like a figure of speech. Literally, okay? Last night on the show, Roderick Strong and Bobby Fish and Adam Cole are all in the ring. And they're talking about how Bobby Fish and Roderick Strong got kidnapped by Dexter Loomis. Okay? He kidnapped them. They've since been released, and Roderick Strong has PTSD. It, it, it's really bothering him a lot that he was, he was kidnapped by this man. And, and why wouldn't it bother him? So they're, they're doing their, their deal. And all of a sudden, Roddy goes, Oh my God, there he is! He's right there! And he points into the crowd. And the camera cuts to the crowd, and there's nobody there. And so it's like, okay, well, this guy's out of his mind. He's seeing, he's seeing Dexter Loomis in the crowd, but Dexter Loomis is not there. Okay, fine. Whatever. I, I'm fine with this, all right? So they keep talking. All of a sudden, Roderick Strong goes, There he is! He's right there! And this time, the camera is in the crowd, and we do, in fact, see the back of Dexter Loomis's head looking at Undisputed in the ring. So, my thought as a viewer is, okay, well, there he is. Roderick Strong is right. But then they cut back to the ring, and Adam Cole and Bobby Fish look out into the crowd, and Dexter Loomis isn't there. Now, years ago in World Championship Wrestling, they were doing this gimmick where Hulk Hogan was scared of the warrior, the former Ultimate Warrior, okay? And they did an angle where he's in his dressing room and he looks in the mirror and he sees the warrior behind him in the mirror. And he starts freaking out, but everybody else in the room, they look in the mirror and they don't see the warrior. So the story is that Hulk Hogan is crazy. He's seeing warrior, but warrior's not actually there. But we, the viewer, can also see the warrior. They did the exact same thing here. So apparently, Roderick Strong is crazy, but we are also crazy because we can also see Dexter Loomis, but nobody else can. I'm like, oh my God, of all the things to steal from World Championship Wrestling, that's the one that you decided to steal? Then later... Then later, Drake Maverick is in the ring with Iho Del Fantasma. He's congratulating him on his win, and he's asking him if maybe, maybe he can get another championship match. Now that he's been rehired, his head is clear everything. As they're talking, out come the two masked luchadors who have kidnapped Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza. They come out on the ramp, and Drake is ready to fight. And Phantasma is ready to fight. And they go back to back to, to keep these men, these masked kidnappers out of the ring. But then Phantasma turns around and he attacks Drake Maverick. And the luchadors attack Drake Maverick. They stomp a mud hole in the guy. And then the masked luchadors tear their masks off. And it's Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza. They kidnap themselves. And Joaquin takes his mask off, or uh, uh, Phantasma takes his mask off. He's now Santos Escobar. So apparently in storyline, Phantasma tried to kidnap himself. Raul Mendoza and Joaquin Wilde did kidnap themselves. We've got missing luchadors. we got missing Mexican kidnappers, because there must be more than just the three of them. It's a very, very strange situation. It was, a, it was a swerve we all expected, but I still can't figure out how it all happened. Are you more offended by the former or the latter? I have a feeling oh my you're God, more offended by, by, by the for, former, right? For, for sure. Okay, listen. Here's why I'm more offended by the former, okay? At least, like, if I want to try to make sense of this, I can presume that, in fact, uh, what's his name? Santos Escobar... 
He's got a few other masked Mexican kidnappers that are waiting in the the wings. So we just haven't we haven't seen them yet, or we they have not revealed themselves yet. Okay, it makes sense if you at least imagine that there's a couple of other people involved in this scenario. Th- these are the people that tried to to kidnap Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza. It succeeded, by the way. I mean, as long as somewhere those people exist, fine, it all makes sense. But. Roderick Strong seeing a phantom Dexter Loomis, who we also see, but who is actually not there and he's invisible? This is ridiculous. Mm. See, for me, I always thought Escobar was more of a Colombian name than a Mexican name, but, you know, that, that's the part I find most ridiculous. It's not true. Well, I mean, he, he may... Who knows, Mike? I mean, my last name is Alvarez. I'm, I'm as white as can be, even though I am legitimately half Mexican. My, my, my children, my, my daughter's name is Paisley Alvarez. I mean, she's going to go to school, and they're going to say, isn't that like a, a Hispanic name? But she actually is Hispanic. So there, there's, there's ways to make that work. That's, that's very low on my, on my scale of concerns. <laughs> 